this is Buchenwald and as at Auschwitz for example you can see that none of the barracks survived although the stone buildings are actually here such as this one down here which was built uh, if I remember rightly in 1940 which was used as a store amongst other things we've got the crematorium up there obviously you've got probably not a good idea building a crematorium out of wood uh, we've got the main entrance there and we've got this building and uh, the uh, outer fence is sort of intact um, although I'm sure the barbed wire has been replaced now there's no barracks here except for one which is this one here and this is actually original or sort of original this is part of the these were used as sick barracks this was put up for sick people um, this was put up in uh, the late winter of 1945 now here we have uh, next to that, this barracks here which you can see uh, we've got the fount where the where it was has been laid out in concrete this was the barracks here where experiments with typhus were carried out and they were carried out over a rather long period of time and a separate video will be on that now uh, this barracks itself uh, was was put up in the late winter of 1945 as I said it was taken down it was used by a construction company but in the uh, mid 1990s it was brought back here and it found somewhere in Thuringia and uh, brought back here and reconstituted as it was now the this part of the camp here had barracks for sick prisoners and by the end of the war there was huge quantities of them uh, the reason for this is we had these death marches in the winter of 44 45 and so people came here uh, they probably those that were sick probably wouldn't have managed to get here but those that got sick when once they were here uh, ended up in places like this the uh, by the end of the war the SS uh, was not how should I put it, not quite wasn't it was still killing people but it didn't um, kill them to the same extent as the as sick prisoners might have been earlier on but then again because of the huge numbers of of sick people now if you look at the uh, mortality rates uh, other than uh, direct murder uh, the uh, end of the war is when they're at the highest same actually for uh, deaths amongst uh, German civilians and military personnel so people uh, ended up in this barracks now it's slightly different from others the barracks were based on that of German stables and I think that this goes back to the 19th century in fact the uh, rules were laid out how the stables had to appear well, what's unusual about this one though it's got so many windows in it so brick below and above there is the wood now there were other um, you can see there we've got the, the perimeter fence and here there were other um, barracks for uh, sick people if I remember rightly there's like four or five of course one wouldn't want to end up in a place like this because often this was just an uh, anti-chamber to death I've just said that towards the end of the war then uh, they weren't murdering people but if earlier then to be taken to the hospital to quote um, Mel Mermelstein he said words to this effect I can't quite remember exact words but he said but you went to the hospital you were taking your life in your own hands it was a risk you didn't have to do any work but at the same time you knew that you could be taken to the gas chamber he was in Auschwitz not here uh, but um, uh, people here who were sick could be and were regularly sent out of the camp to be uh, to be killed uh, for example there were transports to Auschwitz uh, where people would be killed okay so oh there's more than I said so there's one two three four five six seven ah eight uh, infirmary 
buildings. No, 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 no. There you go. There you go. Inpatients barracks, operating x-ray room, surgical ward, TB quarantine barrack, got a morgue in the cellar, six linen room. Okay. So gives a bit of an idea. Right, there'll be more information in the description, so please have a uh, look at that. I've also done other videos from here, from uh, Buchenwald. And uh, uh, what's curious about this is, though, you can see how big it, it actually was. Now, and this, this path here, which I'm sure is original, obviously there weren't trees like this. The trees have grown in the last 72 years. 72 years, did I say yes, because it closed in 1950. 1950, the war ended in 1945. Indeed it did, but the NKVD uh, used it as a camp afterwards, at least part of it as a camp afterwards. Anyway, I should tell you more about that in a separate film. So, anyway, this is me in Buchenwald. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that interesting. And if you did, you might want to subscribe. And if you didn't, then you won't.